Hello everybody, Jimmy's Promo here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys something extremely important when it comes down to your Samsung Galaxy devices. And it has to deal with your Samsung account as well as Find My Mobile. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So this will help you out in several different ways. One of the ways is if you lose your cell phone or it gets stolen, this is a way you'd be able to remotely control the device, you know, either your cell phone or your tablet, as well as being able to locate it as well. Uh, the other thing is if you maybe have someone borrowing your cell phone and they need you to get into the phone to change some settings or maybe it gets locked up. Uh, or maybe it's lost in your house and you need to find it before you head over to work. So how you set this up and where is the settings for Find My Mobile? The first thing is when you first get a Samsung product, uh, it'll ask you to sign in with your Gmail and your Samsung account and so on and so forth. So make sure you guys create a Samsung account. If you went through everything and you have not made the account for Samsung, all you have to do is go to the settings and click on accounts. And inside of there, you'll actually have an option for Samsung account. And then this is where you'd actually be able to create one. And if you want, use the same Gmail email if you have to. Now that you have everything all set up, when you go into your cell phone, go into the lock screen and security. And if yours does not say lock screen and, secure, and security and it just says security, just get into the security because that is actually where it is at inside of here. So you go to find my mobile and this is where you would actually sign in with your Samsung account. Once you're logged in, this is where you have those two options where you'd be able to turn on the remote controls as well as the Google location service. And on the top, it tells you where you'd be able to go. So if you don't know where you have to look for and find your cell phone, all you have to do is go to www.findmymobile.samsung.com. And that's actually what I have over here on the tablet. So let's pretend that this phone over here just got lost or stolen, or maybe I got to find it. Maybe I need to get in some information of it. Either way, I'm going to go on my tablet. You can go on another friend's cell phone, or you can go on a laptop. Just go to findmymobile.samsung.com. Then you'll take you to this website here, and you go to sign in. So sign in with your Samsung account that you have created. So I will actually type in some of my credentials here. And here we go with the password. So here's a screen and it is all loaded up, but what I will do is actually, I will blur this screen out because it has some of my phone numbers in there. But what it shows, it is showing all of my registered devices, which is my Galaxy S5, the S6 Edge Plus, the Galaxy Tab S2, and the Galaxy Note 5. So what I'm gonna do is since I have the Note 5 over here to the left, I'm actually gonna click on Galaxy Note 5. Okay, I'm gonna put my thumb up right over here, which is where the phone number is shown. And this is the options you can do. You can actually locate the device. You can ring my device, put it into emergency mode. You can also turn on ultra power saving mode, which is really cool. Uh, you can lock the screen. You can wipe the device. You can check out the call logs. And the call logs is for the last 30 people that you talk to. You can also unlock the screen, and then you can manage guardians and then customer support. So let's try one of these out. Let's go to ring my device. So now I'm going to ring the device. So you just click on that button. So let's say maybe I need to get out of here and head over to work. Then what will happen is now... It is ringing the device and it is all successful. Let's check out one of the other options. Let's go into the ultra power saving mode. So once we choose on this right here, then it gives us the option to choose ultra power saving mode. And now you'll be able to check out my phone over here and see that it's all average, it's normal. You can see all the colors. And then soon you'll be noticing it goes into the ultra power saving mode. And there we go. And so let's say that maybe we lost the cell phone. What we'd be able to do is we'd be able to wipe the device and or you can even lock the screen. So if you don't have a lock on your phone, this is where you'd be able to lock it and then you'd be able to wipe the device if need be. Now, another one that's really cool and really fun to do is unlocking the screen. So let's say maybe my best buddy is holding on to my cell phone and I'm away from the house and he needs to get into it to grab some information, maybe for school or work or anything like that. So what I'd be able to do is click on unlock my screen. And then I'd be able to hit on unlock. And so right now my phone is actually locked with a fingerprint. And so what I'll do is I'll just actually leave it right here and we'll wait for it to unlock. And as you can tell, it actually popped right on up. There is the phone is unlocked and it already went into the device. And if you hit on the power button, if I was to swipe up, now I'm able to get into the device or my buddy's able to get in the device. And now it is not, not locked at all. And the very last scenario, we'll just say that it is unlocked 
and now you want to just lock it right on back. Maybe your buddy is all done. Then all you got to do is type in what the code would be to unlock the device. So let's just do one, two, three, four for this situation. And right now the number that you put in there will actually be a temporary number and it's only used by the Find My Mobile service. And so now I'll hit unlock. And there you go. So now it can definitely tell that the phone is locked because it says phone locked. And in order for me to unlock this, I'd be able to do one, two, three, four, get unlocked. And then now I'd be able to go back into my settings and actually put back in there my fingerprint reading for the lock screen. So this has been a little tutorial and a little explanation and info for Find My Device on the Samsung Galaxy devices. So make sure you guys go to findmydevice.samsung.com. Hope this has helped you guys out. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe. And please, please, please make sure you have all of your Samsung Galaxy devices with a Samsung account so you'd be able to manage all of your devices even if you're not right next to it. Have a great day.